Hey, I'm um, sorry we haven't posted for a week or so, but we're gonna give you a little update here on the greenhouse and what's going on in there. And uh, if you look behind me, you can see that everything is starting to turn green around here, but don't let that fool you because we just got five, three to five inches of snow just the other day and it melted recently. So the greenhouse is booming right now. We're full of plants, it is absolutely full. And um, but we'll show you our little experiment here has worked out really well and we'll update you on some things we learned. All right, welcome to the greenhouse. We're, we're outgrowing our space already here. We got plants on the windowsills. We got a whole bunch of onions here. We got even some plants on the floor that are getting hardened off. Those go outside during the day. Um, we got onions here. Our red onions didn't grow up very well. They didn't germinate well. And um, we actually, Fedco uh, gave us a, our money back on those seeds because we only got like 30% germination. But here's our other onions, our bunching onions. You can see those are growing up really nice. Um, Got some uh, beets are growing in here, peppers, and uh, then a bunch of little seedlings in here. Still, just these are just sprouting up. Um, some broccoli and some basil. Look at that basil growing up right there. It just started. So, one of the things we did learn here in the greenhouse is that um, we've kind of set it up that we have a heat mats over here, um, which is where we start the seedlings. And we figured out that if they start them over here, we might put a dome on them or a lid, but we start the seedlings over here. And then once they sprout, they come over here under this light box and they get a little boost with the light box and help keep it a little warmer at night. And then once they're done there, then they come out onto the other trays here. So going from, you know, sprouting the seeds on the heat mat to a couple of, like a week or so under some uh, grow lights, <coughs> excuse me, then out to the regular greenhouse here works really well. Um, and we've gotten, as you can see, some great germination. Things are getting ready to go. These are some of our peppers here. Um, need to get potted up here soon. Um, the beets and things are going to go out of here soon, so we'll be able to get those up and out. Um, and then we've really been doing a lot of bottom watering. Uh, saves us from getting too much water in the top of the plants and really lets us just bottom water. So all in all, you know, we've really worked at getting this greenhouse up and running this year, and um, I, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, so getting this greenhouse up and going has been great, and it, it's working really well. Um, we've been able to germinate tons of plants and we already got stuff that's gone from the greenhouse out to the hoop house. I'll take you up there and we'll show you that. So up here in the hoop house, these are some of our transplants. This, the kale in the middle, the really curly leaf stuff, uh, we overwintered in here. And then the other kale was some of uh, stuff we transplanted from the greenhouse. Also this lettuce here got transplanted in here this year. And then down here, this lettuce also got transplanted into the hoop house this year. So doing really well. And then some direct seeded stuff in the hoop house here, some lettuce, um, arugula, and some carrots that's already growing up in here. So. All in all, and there's some more transplanted stuff over there. I don't forget what that was over there. I think it's some shard over here. Yeah, so some transplanted, looks like chard over in here. Got transplanted in um, from the greenhouse. So what do we got there? Yeah, some sweet chard. So this also was grown in the um, greenhouse and then transplanted up here. So all in all, you know, so far real successful transplanting season so yeah so a little quick update on how the greenhouse worked out um you know it's it was an experiment for us this year to start with greenhouse growing and you know combining the greenhouse with the hoop house here and like i've said i've been really happy with it it lets us get a really big jump start on the on the growing season and um so far i don't have costs on heating the greenhouse we are as you watch a previous video in the greenhouse you know we're heating that with electricity um, so I don't have a cost on that yet, but I think the combination of using the heat mats and that tent, um, the light tent in there, I can really keep the temperature down a little lower at night in the greenhouse. Because um, once the plants come out of that light, they can tolerate a little bit more uh, the colder temps. So we're not keeping it, you know, 70, 80 degrees in there. I'm usually keeping it 45 to 50 in the greenhouse at night. Um, and then during the day, no heat needed. In fact, we're ventilating it most of these sunny uh, spring days. So... Thanks for watching the video. Check out our other previous greenhouse videos. We got one on building the greenhouse tables. 
um, and check out other videos. Uh, we just crossed 100 subscribers, so thank you for everybody who has subscribed. We hit 100, um, so we, uh, we're looking forward to seeing you on the farm. So click subscribe, do whatever you do on YouTube, um, and then uh, farm stands opening May 1st, and uh, we'll see you on the farm. Thanks for watching.